The Walt Disney Company just drew the attention of a nonprofit legal group with its woke policy announcements. Does this mean that Disney faces a lawsuit for its wokeness, as well as the boycott already taking shape? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I can't say boys and girls, and this will have to be for adult dreamers only, and not the immigration kind of dreamer. This is another declaration of truth from your host, Terry A. Hurlbut. In this video, we're going to look at the latest trouble that the Walt Disney Company is in, who is now making demands of the company, and what those demands are. I promise you, they will shock you, as they did me when I first heard about them. First, I want to shout out to the sponsor of this channel, which is Conservative News and Views. Link in the description. And be sure to check out the awesome CNAV store. Scroll down to the bottom for that link. Lots of good merchandise there. Coming soon, a bookshelf where you can buy books that explore conservative philosophy and death. And two days ago, yours truly became a published author with a title projecting the liberal globalist new world order 400 years into the future and showing a rebellion against it. Look for Matthew's Run, released an ebook and paperback. All right, ladies and gentlemen, including fathers and mothers of young dreamers, today we find out whether there is hope yet for making Disney the happy place it once was. Regular viewers will recall my treatment of the Walt Disney Company and the disturbing steps it has taken. We all know who is responsible for that. Bob Iger, the Barack Obama of Disney. Sadly, Bob Chapek is no Donald Trump. If he were, he would never have said what he said against the Florida Parental Rights and Education Act. I see no reason to repeat that now. You'll find a link in the description of my video on that very subject. Except to say that Bob Chapek either coined or repeated the false phrase, don't say gay act. Let's face a cold hard fact. Bob Chapek has a swamp to drain that is larger and stinks worse than the Everglades. If you doubt that, play the Christopher Rufo leaked Zoom conference videos. I have links in the description of those too. More to the point, he has let people like Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm distract him from the very serious implications of what he is doing and what he is letting people get away with. And now he won't get away with it anymore. Already Ben Shapiro's Daily Wire is ginning up to compete directly with Disney. Earlier this week, several customers gathered in front of Disney's Alameda Gate and its Burbank offices to protest. But that might not be the worst thing the Disney company now faces. The legal scene has a new nonprofit legal advocacy group for those of us who care about civilizational values. Last year, this month, several former Trump administration members formed the America First Legal Foundation. They recently released a statement reflecting on a year of accomplishments. They've taken on the border crisis, abortion, religious persecution right here in this country, the grooming of children in school, forcing doctors to sign on to surgical mutilation and hormonal poisoning of children, critical race theory, medical tyranny, especially about a germ that shall remain nameless, and reverse discrimination against whites, among other things. That last, by the way, includes something they call medical rationing. Now, other influencers like Joseph R. Mercola D.O. might think rationing conventional medicine is a good thing. It encourages people to find healthier alternatives. But what matters here? is the harm the bad guys want to do, whether it really hurts or not. Well, Disney's actions have drawn the Foundation's attention, as we hear from Pajamas Media. So they just sent Disney chairwoman Susan Arnold a detailed demand letter. Pajamas Media uploaded that to Scrib D, and you'll find a link in the description of that too. That letter demands that Disney take several extraordinary steps to restore the faith of shareholders and customers alike, a faith that Bob Chapek, Kathleen Kennedy, and the unworthies in that Zoom conference have severely shaken. Some of those steps are the kind you expect people to demand from presidents and governors. They talk about independent councils and third-party culture auditors. 
Seriously, they want those counsels and auditors to investigate how and why Bob Chapin came to make his statement against the anti-grooming bill. Release to the public all emails and other correspondence that led up to Mr. Chapek's statement. Fire people who have leaned on conservative Disney cast in violation of several laws. Address issues that several employees raised in an open letter to management and the Ethan L. Clay Quillette article. And I have links to the description to both. Take steps to make sure that the disgusting goings on at Disney not only stop, but never happen again. Put up or shut up about how adding queerness to children's programming will enhance the company's reputation. And while they're at it, come across about Disney playing up to the Chai Coms in order to operate in China, which does not tolerate such wokeness in any way, shape, or form, I can assure you. Changes like that might move Disney back to what it once was. Not everyone at or connected with Disney is going to like this. Abigail Disney, Walt's crazy great niece, went on a long rant about bigoted detractors. Just imagine what she's going to say about this. Disney actually must do this. Aside from any legal trouble they might be in, they're losing customers already. If they want those customers back, They'll do as America First Legal says. Links in the description to the article, to the Christopher Rufo video links, to those two open letters, the America First Legal demand letter, and three prior videos on the subject, and to conservative news and views. I have another link to that awesome online store, as I mentioned. And if you like what you've heard, you can like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Terry A. Hurlbut delivering another Declaration of Truth and reminding you to let the truth set you free.